Welcome to the first episode of the Same Houston State Bearcat Dynasty. Same Houston State University is located in Huntsville, Texas. The city is known for a few things, including having seven prisons and also a 67-foot statue of Big Sam Houston himself. Some of the noble alumni are longtime news reporter Dan Rather and also professional wrestler Billy Gunn. But we're not here to talk about those guys. We're here to talk about Josh McCown. He spent his first three years playing college ball at SMU and then transferred in 2001 to Sam Houston State University, where he improved on most, if not all, of his stats from his first three years in college. That production allowed allowed McCown to be drafted in the third round by the Arizona Cardinals back in 2002. Over the course of 20 years, he bounced around the league and was last on an active roster in 2022. But instead of taking the Vikings quarterback coaching job as he did in real life in February 2024, he has decided to bring his talents to Huntsville, Texas and bring back the glory of the same Houston State Bearcats. 2023 was not kind to the Bearcats as they went 3-9 and nine in their first year up from FBS to FCS. It is definitely going to take time to build this program up, but I do believe we have the coaches in place. Let's go meet them. Of course, we already know about Josh McCown. He is the head coach and a motivator. He is going to be starting at level one and the settings for this dynasty will be normal. Our offensive coordinator is Lionel Diedrich. He is a master motivator but does have some tactician points attached to him. Steve Sims is our defensive coordinator. He is also a master motivator but does have some recruiter points attached to him. The idea for making McCown a motivator is because I know we're not going to have a ton of talent but the talent that we do have we need to motivate them to be better. We need to make sure that we are giving them the confidence they need to go out and perform out in Bauer Stadium. Speaking of the talent we have on our team let's go ahead and talk about some of our main players. Kavion Gaither and Isaiah Nixon are both outside linebackers and we're going to be relying on them to make big plays and keep us in games. Junior Jace Bauer will be at the helm for the Bearcats and will be learning under the tutelage of Josh McCown. So what I'm really excited to play with at least for one year is Ife Adei. He is a speedster with 97 speed and 97 acceleration. He does only have 77 catching so hopefully we can give him the ball in the open field so he doesn't have to think too much about catching the ball and allow him to use his 94 change of direction to make some moves and get to the end zone. But the person going to be touching the rock most is John Gentry, junior running back who has the speed, the acceleration, and the agility to make things happen. He can also catch out of the backfield, so make sure you know his name. The playbooks we're going to use are the same Houston State University spread offense and the 4-2-5 defense. The goal is to make sure we get the ball in their playmakers' hands and have Gaither and Nixon make plays on defense. We're going to start with the All-American skill difficulty. The goal is to move up to Heisman, and we're going to have six-minute quarter lengths. At this point in time, we're going to go with the default sliders. I know these are not the most realistic, but I do hope to at least figure out what is going to feel good for me and what other players are going to be doing as I do go through this dynasty and change things as they go. I'll let you know when the changes are made. As we get to the schedule, you will see the first week is against Charlotte. If you have been following my channel, you know that I did a three-year dynasty with Charlotte, so I thought it was only right that we play our old team. So obviously we're going to have games in Texas, but we're also going to have games in Alabama, Georgia, and Florida. It does not give us a strength of schedule, at least not that I can find, but I do feel like this is going to be a pretty easy schedule. Maybe not for me, J-Cake. Maybe not for my team, Sam Houston State. But overall, these are not going to be terribly difficult teams. Now, watch me go and lose most of these games. That does it for the intro. For Week 0, Josh McCown is going to be taking the Bearcats and the 9-3-6 to the 7-0-4, hopefully coming back with a win. We are here in Charlotte, all the way from Huntsville, take on the Charlotte 49ers. We're going to be kicking off on this Ranger Day. The first kick of this season is going to be not decently bad, but not great. Josh McCown there on the sidelines preparing his team to go out and shut down Max Brown of the Charlotte 49ers. Browns will be dropping back. Can't get any pressure on him. He does throw it. He finds someone. Broke a few tackles. Able to get close to a first down. They're going to be running at this play, and we're able to hit him in the backfield. He's broke through, though. First down. Faking like we're bringing pressure now, but we're going to be dropping back there in the middle. They're going to run it, and it didn't matter if we were going to have pressure or not. Able to stop him before he gets the first. We're going to be bringing pressure off of the right. Let's hope we can shut him down. They were running right into it. Caleb Weaver with a big loss. We're we're going to be bringing motion on this fake jet sweep, but we are going to be running up the middle, and he's able to pick up quite a few second and four. We're running again right up the middle. This is a power. We were able to find a hole right there. First down, fighting for some yardage. Going to the air for the first time here in this series, and we're going to be throwing it, able to catch it for a gain of eight. We really want to be smart because this is a rainy, dreary day. We're more susceptible of drops and fumbles as we are going to keep it on the ground. There's a hole right there. Make a shifty move. Hold on to the ball. First down. Oh, no. We weren't able to get that screen pass off. Off. Unable to catch that on the left. Sewn there in the middle of the field. Unable to get a first down. Coach does want to go for it. Hot dog. And we're going to be able to find. Oh, man. We're going to give them the ball in decent field position. And it's going to be a passer going to the air. Oh, I thought we were going to be able to get that. Bringing pressure from the left. It does look.
okay? We're getting to him. He's rolling. There's an interception, Sam Houston! That was Isaiah Nixon, the linebacker we talked about. He's already doing big things for us. Third and 15. That's not what we wanted to do. No, oh, when we just gave the ball right back to him. Ah, that's on me. The passing in this game is pretty difficult. Run up the middle. We don't have anyone there, and they're going to be going for a first down. Run up the middle again. Oh, no, it's a play action. We almost had him. Get another pick. Nope. User SWAT. Looks like we're getting some pressure. Go into the air. Find somebody. And, of course, we whiff tackles. Oh, there we go. Are we going to stop him? Nope. We definitely are not going to stop him. He's able to make a quick juke at the line and he's able to get in there for a touchdown. That's going to take us into the first quarter. We're down 7 to nothing. Still plenty of time. They do like they're doing much better on us than on the ground. So, let's get some ground game going. I don't know how much ground game I can get going with it being third and nine. Oh, somehow I was able to catch that. Hopefully, this is going to work better than the last time. They let their guys by. Oh, come on. Put us behind the sticks even more. We're able to hit a wide receiver and... Uh, because we threw it behind him, he couldn't get anything going. Now, that's frustrating because we had him. Woo! Are you serious? Right, we're going to give the ball to him in really good field position. See if we can get some pressure. Oh! He bobbled it. Third and nine. We're covering the running back out of the backfield. Isaiah Nixon again coming through clutch for us. Third and manageable. We're going to have a little center beater here. I'm hoping to just go to Gentry again. He had it and then dropped it. Hopefully we're going to be hitting Sohn. He was able to... No, he wasn't able to get that. What? We we're bringing pressure from the left with a safety. to be around the middle. No, it's a play action. Sacked again in the backfield. That is huge for us expecting a screen nope they are going to the air no pressure at all and we're not gonna be able to do anything they're probably gonna kick a field goal and that's fine maybe these bad weather conditions will hurt their chance nope they made it third and four they are going to be pressing up on us so we have to get rid of this quickly and Sone is able to bring it in no he's not who is this guy he is a terrible tight end going for it on fourth down we do have a little center beat let's see if this is gonna work for us and of course gentry's not able to get it either and luckily we're still only down 10 they're probably gonna go for it. oh how is that even possible? We had two guys over there. We're bringing pressure and right where safety would have or should have been. Quick hitter to the left. We're going to be in hurry up. Let's see if he can do this. That was a prayer. Noah Smith is able to catch it. Oh, he just ran by everyone. Touchdown, Bearcats. 17 to 7. We're just going to go into halftime. 17 7. We're down by 10. We've made some big mistakes, but we are still in this game. We will be getting the ball to start the second half. Doesn't look like they're bringing pressure up the middle, but we are going to run with it. And there's a cutback lane. Go, Gentry. There we go. Talked about wanting to get the running game going, and we have to. We have to make sure that we're doing what we can to get this fella going. Hitch corners. This is the play I've been looking for, actually. Oh, he's able to catch it. Unable to make a move, but does get a first down. Hitch corners again, baby. Whoa, get it in e face hands. Oh, fumble. Oh, my goodness. Get this run game going. There we go. Get some blocks. Make a move. There we go. He got some open field. First and goal. Met very quickly before he handed the ball off. Second and goal. We're going to go with a fake jet sweep. Gentry is unable to get much of anything. Oh, my goodness. To the one. If we can't get this, we don't deserve it, right? Oh, God. Oh, no. Are you seeing? Oh, my gosh. We are going to the fourth quarter down 17 to 7. We had a chance to cut it to a seven-point lead. Unable to. We got stuffed on the one-yard line on fourth and goal last time, so that's not good. And this is going to look like we are bringing pressure, but we are not. Hopefully, he's going to want to get rid of it quick, and we are going to take advantage of that. It's going to be a run up the middle. No, it's not. It's going to be a play action. Are we able to get him? We are not able to get him, of course, and we were running and jumping, picking the wrong players. God bless America. America. That's that's super frustrating. That was my fault. I think that's what makes it worse. A whiff tackle? Are you serious? We're not out of it, but at the same time, if we are going at this rate, we're not going to score much at all throughout the entire season. Well, this is going to be a lot of learning that we have to do for this game. And uh, it's going to be a frustrating learning curve. <laughs> Jace Bauer got pissed. He's gone from potentially a 7-point lead to now a 31-point lead. When we look at the stats after this game, we're going to see a fourth quarter filled with terribly lopsided scoring. Oh, my gosh. Well, saw the play coming. He took a back step. Oh, you're kidding me. Let him drop a 50-burger on us. This is going to be a long season. Oh, there we go. Gentry, go. Stay in bounds. Go, buddy. Go, buddy. <laughs> Touchdown, Bearcats. Oh, that was our backup as well, and he doesn't have the best speed. I forgot the Gentry got hurt, so that's uh, here back. Hurt your back? H-back. Well, that is going to end the game. We lost 
55 to 14. They scored 38 points in that fourth quarter alone. We had five turnovers. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 60 passer rating. You threw it 42 times. You had five interceptions. Ooh. Gentry did decently for us. I hate that we didn't get him more involved, but... It is what it is. Bauer finally got a little bit of option game going and getting to Herbach. See, Zach Herbach. Herbacek? Herbacek. Zach Herbacek got it to him, and he had that long 66-yard run. So that was good. First and foremost, I want to look at the drops. We tried to get the ball, feed the ball to Elijah Sohn nine times. He dropped it twice. We tried to feed the ball to Gentry again, get him out of the backfield because, again, he's got enough speed and elusiveness to do things on the ground, but also through the air, and he dropped the ball five times. Ugh. We didn't really do a whole lot to get Noah Smith involved except for that very long pass. That was just a prayer. And we had two drops by our speedster, 97 speed, 97 acceleration, Ife Adei. That's unfortunate because we need to get his hands on the ball and get him in the open field. Oh, wow, we had some pancakes. Is this what I'm going to be expecting? Holy cow, it's great. And as far as the tackles, uh, we had quite a few from our linebacker, Callaway. Not sure why Callaway was in and not Gaither and or Isaiah Nixon, but we're going to have to check on that. In any case, 11 tackles led the team. We did have two sacks, one by linebacker Nixon and the other one by safety, Jaden Scott. And then finally, we also had one interception by Isaiah Nixon. We're going to miss him next year because he is a senior and this defense is already bad real bad but not as bad as our offense that right there is a scoring drive for the fourth quarter alone it was 17 to 7 going into the fourth quarter and then they were able to to get a ton of points 38 so we're advancing to week one look at there we got some recruiting updates we're in the top five for some speaking of the recruits i forgot to mention that we will only be going after one and or two star recruits and only looking at our pipeline states right now they are obviously texas somehow california and unbeknownst to me North Carolina, that has nothing to do with me in my previous position being at the University of North Carolina, Charlotte. Totally different dynasty, totally different world. But in any case, North Carolina is one of them. However, I don't think we're going to be recruiting much from there because we're going to be looking at surrounding states. It makes sense for New Mexico, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. Now, obviously, we're going to have some tough competition with those other bigger schools. University of Texas, Oklahoma, LSU, University of Arkansas, even New Mexico State. So we are definitely going to have to make sure we put our best foot forward to get some of these recruits. And here you can see some players who are at risk of transferring, unfortunately because of playing style and coach prestige. Hopefully we will have them long enough for them to stay with us you know, for at least this year. So we're not that bad. Nixon was the defensive player of the week for the Conference USA. There's probably only like one other team playing Conference USA, but woo, there we go. And Noah Smith was the offensive player of the week because he had that one huge touchdown catch for us. There we go. That's awesome for my guys. Next week, we will be welcoming the Rice Owls to Bauer Stadium. We look forward to seeing you at the game. Eat them up, cats.